seven years, I have been teaching the use of kinesiology in golf. It is the scientific analyzation of human motion. Whether you realize it or not, your mind tries to picture and feel every swing you make. It is the start of developing mental imagery. Picture these motions of the skeletal frame carefully as they are the foundation of the golf swing and the formula for power and accuracy. The first problem that we have in golf is how do we transmit the energy from this body to the golf club head. We do it with the hands. And for the hands to do the job correctly, they must be placed on this grip and this club shaft correctly. So it deals with now how to grip the club correctly. The heel and the thumb of the left hand must be placed on the top of the grip of this golf club. The palm of the left hand, the lower part of the palm of the left hand, must be in front of the golf grip. The four fingers must be underneath and folded so that you can grasp the club firmly with the left hand. The second joint of the thumb is in line with the first joint of the left hand. Now I'm going to take and make a side view so you can get a better view of how this club is placed in the hands. I'm going to turn it to the side. The heel of the left hand, thumb of the left hand, on top of the golf club. The second phalanx of the index finger is underneath. The palm of the left hand is in front. And the four fingers are wrapped around the bottom side of the golf club. The second joint of the thumb is in line with the first joint of the index finger. That's the way you put the left hand on the club. Now, to put the right hand on the club, I fold the index, the middle, and the third finger of the right hand into this position. I put the second phalanx of these three fingers underneath the club. The palm is on the, the right palm is on the back side of the club. This bulbous end of this right thumb is placed on this left thumb, the, this joint in, section of the left thumb. The second joint and the first joint of the index finger and the thumb are in line. This is the proper grip. Now I'm doing it aside. Fold the first finger, second finger, and third finger of the right hand into this position. Put the second section of these three fingers underneath the club. The first section behind the club. Wrap the bulbous end of the right thumb over these two sections of the left thumb, keeping the second joint of the right thumb and the first joint of the index finger together so that when you put the club head on the ground and address the ball that your hands are in this position. I'm going to stand erect. I'm going to separate my feet about 12 to 15 inches. My toes are slightly more separated than the heels. However, before making the bend over for the stance, I'll make my right foot more square. My left foot is slightly open toward the target line. I'm going to incline from the ball and socket joint of the hips toward the ball about 30 degrees. When I do this, my arms will hang almost vertically over the tips of the toes. That gives us working room between the grip and the left leg 
so that the right knee and thigh can get underneath when you make the strike with the golf club. Now I'm going to do this from the side. I'm going to separate my feet about 12 to 15 inches. I'm going to incline from the ball and socket joint of the hips in this manner. I'm not going to fold or bend at the waist like most books tell you. This is collapsing the vertebrae of the back and your arms actually be hanging behind your back instead of in front of your back. I'm not flexing my knees as I do this. I am inclining without flexing my knees. My arms will hang over the tips of the toes. This will give me working room between this golf club and this left leg so that my right thigh and knee can come in between the shaft and the left knee so the right side can hit the ball. Kinesiology is a scientific analyzation of muscular motion. In golf, we're dealing with joints, muscles, and nerves. And in this tape, I'm going to show you how to use each joint and each muscle according to their design for the best results in golf. We have on the ground here a white line extended from this ball to the target. We call that the flight line or target line. We have a line here which we call the left heel line, a center line, and a right heel line. We're standing erect. I'm going to incline from the ball and socket joints of my hips about 30 degrees. Then I will adjust the club face, the center of that club face, squarely behind the back center of that golf ball by moving forward or backward so that I have a proper measurement from my shoulder to the ball. I'm going to move my hips laterally until about 60% of my weight is upon the left leg. My right knee is flexing, causing my right hip to drop, my right shoulder to drop, so that an extended right arm can allow me to place my third finger of my right hand below the index of the left hand and the other two fingers around the bottom part of the club and fold them underneath the club so that I can place the bulbous end of the right thumb on top of the two five legs of the left thumb and grasp the golf club thus way. Now I'm ready to take a swing at this golf ball. While we're here, I think it'd be a good time to show you an exercise that deals with the pivot which we're going into next. I'm going to place this golf club behind the small of my back, place my elbows behind the golf club and bring my arms into a right angle. And then I'm going to incline toward this golf ball about 30 degrees. Now this is the angle of address of the spine. It's good. Now I'm going to flex the left knee, extend the right knee, the pelvis will tilt so that my weight is transferred to the right foot. I'm going to rotate the shoulders. Now I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to shift my weight to the left leg laterally, picking up the right heel, flexing the right knee, and rotating the shoulders. Here is the exercise to develop the proper pivot. 